I actually have a, a quick question. So it looks like you're doing a lot of sort of advocacy work now. Are you talking with other parents of preemies who've made both decisions, or you know, how are you going about that? Well, um, I've uh, been involved with um, a group called Preemie Babies 101, which um, runs a, a preemie parent blog site. And so I talk with those parents as I'm creating um, blog posts, and they're you know they're also writing about their experiences. And um, yeah, I've, I've talked with with parents who have had uh, you know, the whole range of experiences from um, you know the doctors who told them that they you know there would be no care and in fact one woman in Kentucky and at 22 weeks wanted care and uh, couldn't get it and the, the baby uh, breathed for three hours and then died um, and um, you know um, as for parents who were you know pushed into doing something that they didn't want to do um, by, by the rules I actually haven't you know uh, met anybody like that uh, I did read uh, what This Lovely Life by Vicki Foreman, which uh, Dr. Gentry told me about, and I, you know, I, I, I actually hadn't known about the book at that point. That that book was a real um, eye opener uh, to me, uh, both because of you know the fact that uh, the you know twenty three week twins, uh, doctors going against the parents' wishes, and um, and then, you know, and then also, you know, at the ending, um, it was the gastrostomy, uh, which we thought was one of the, you know, the good guys of all of these procedures. Um, the gastrostomy was the thing that, um, the scar tissue from that was the thing that ended up killing the child. And I just, that just, you know, that, that cost me several hours of sleep that night just because I thought, what, you know, well, he's still got this thing. <laughs> and, you know, is there scar tissue? And so, you know, we've got a gastroenterologist appointment uh, tomorrow and so I'm going to be the panicky parent asking the irrelevant questions. <laughs> Can this happen to my child, you know? Um, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, it is possible to be paternalistic towards parents in the other direction um, to say you have to go through this um, this this treatment for your child that you don't want to go through and then the results are bad and then everybody's suffered and oh my goodness you know and I, I don't have a uh, you know a more complex answer than that um, but so but you know yeah I am aware of, of, of that other experience.